Now, breaking news from NBC4. Thanks for joining us for NBC4 at 5. I'm Brad Johansson. And I'm Jennifer Bullock. It's a story that made international headlines. A 10-year-old girl from Ohio who was raped traveled to Indiana for an abortion just days after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. And now Columbus police have arrested a suspect in that crime. NBC4's Alan Henry has been digging into the case. What do you know so far, Alan? Well, Brad, Jim, because this case involves a minor, a lot of the details have been redacted and kept under wraps. Perhaps because of that, some prominent Ohio leaders, including Attorney General Dave Yost had recently cast doubt on the story, saying he had heard, quote, not a whisper about it from his friends in law enforcement across the state. Well, this morning, 27 year old Herson Fuentes appeared in court facing a charge of rape, a first degree felony. CPD detective Jeffrey Hoon testified at Fuentes' arraignment this morning. Hoon says they received the case from Franklin County Children's Services after the child's mom reported the pregnancy. Detective Hewn also confirmed that on June 30th, a week after that initial report, the girl traveled to Indiana for an abortion. Now, because Fuentes is living in the country illegally, Detective Hewn said there was no way of knowing Fuentes had a criminal record or if that is even his real name. Hewn detailed their contact with Fuentes yesterday, saying he admitted to the crime. On July 12th, uh, we, we issued a search warrant, served Garrison with a search warrant for his DNA. He consented. Uh, waived his right and spoke with us and admitted to having vaginal intercourse with the victim on, on no less than two occasions. Now, prosecutors had sought no bond for Fuentes, but the judge instead gave him a $2 million bond. Now, one thing not brought up during this morning's hearing was how Fuentes knows the child, but the judge has ordered him to stay away from her and his family, or her family. Jen. Alan, thank you.